Hi, my name is Carrie Rhodes and I'm a biomedical sciences teacher at Mallard Creek High School. And I'm here to show you how to use the Glaister equation to estimate time of death for a decedent. So there are two versions of the um, Glaister equation you can see here. One if your temperatures are given in Celsius and one if they're given in Fahrenheit. And so let's look at this little scenario that's in the top right hand corner. It says, if a body is found to have a rectal temperature of 32 degrees Celsius at 10 a.m. in the medical examiner's office, how long has the individual been dead? And what time did they die? So the Glaister equation is going to tell us hours after death. And then we're going to apply those hours to a little clock face. So first of all, let's look at that clock face. It says that they took the temperature in the medical examiner's office at 10 a.m. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that on this clock. And we're going to come back to that in a little bit once we've determined how many hours ago the person might have died. So we're going to take the rectal temperature, which was found to be 32 degrees Celsius, and we're going to plug it into the Celsius version of the Glaister equation. All right, so let's start with what we're given here. It says 36.9 degrees Celsius minus um, our measured temperature, which in this case is 32 degrees Celsius. And we're going to subtract that. My little thingy doesn't want to show up. And we're going to then take that phrase times 6 over 5. And that's going to tell us the hours after death. All right, so you're going to go ahead and plug this into a calculator. 36.9 minus 32 is 4.9. And again, take that times 6 over 5. So now we're just going to multiply across. So we'll put 4.9 over 1. And so 4.9 times 6, I'm going to have to double check that. 4.9 times 6 is 29.4. And then we multiply the 1 times 5 across. And so we end up, when we divide 29.4 divided by 5, we end up with 5.88 hours. Okay, well, 5.88 hours is almost 6 hours. All right, 0.88 would be 88% of an hour, and that's what I know, almost 50 minutes. Let's just go ahead and call it six hours, though. We'll round it up to six hours. So now that we know that the person died about six hours ago, let's go back to the clock face. We know that we took their rectal temperature in the medical examiner's office at 10 a.m. So let's work backwards on the clock, six hours. So 10 a.m. to 9 is one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours five, six. So that's around 4 a.m. So in this case, we would say that the approximate time of death for this individual is 4 a.m. All right. Now that you've seen this done on this little video, uh, use that to help you solve the uh, Anna Garcia case.